How many arguments for giving people seeking asylum the right to work can I fit in just one minute? Now start the clock. It means people don't have to try and survive on £5.39 per day and food banks. It allows people seeking asylum to provide for themselves and their families. 94% of people seeking asylum say they want to work. And also it would earn at least 42.4 million in savings and new tax. It gives people a better chance of integrating into their new communities. 71% of the British public want to see the ban lifted, so why not? It also brings the UK's right to work rules in line with other countries. At the moment, they're most restrictive than France, the US, Germany and Spain. It stops the UK wasting the talents of some of the amazing people seeking asylum, putting social workers, builders, town planners, teachers, nurses, you name it, back to work. And also, it would improve the mental health of people in the asylum system. It makes people seeking asylum less vulnerable to forced labor, exploitation, and modern day slavery. It has the backing of refugee action, asylum matters, ban and Jarrah's amnesty crisis, the CBI, the TUC, Birmingham City Council, and more than 200 other organizations. So why don't we lift the ban?